Thanks for being here. So I just wanted to have a look today at uh, the Soundbrenner Core smartwatch flash metronome. Anyway, uh, picked one up, gave it a shot, had a few um, use cases for it, and I just wanted to tell you guys what my thoughts and experience was on it, and hopefully this will serve uh, not as a determining factor whether or not you should pick one up, but I just wanted to show you what my experience was with it. So uh, let's dive into it here, and uh, yeah, so this is what it is. It's This is the... you may have seen it or heard of it before, but Soundbrenner has an app uh, called the Metronome, and you can get it for free in the Google Play Store or iOS App Store. And the Metronome app is fantastic. There are premium features you can unlock with it as well, such as enabling MIDI connection and things like that and uh, also enabling the MIDI connection between the core and the, the app itself. So the core is uh, basically this right here. It is the uh, watch for all musicians. This one in particular, there's two versions. There's Core and Core Steel. This one is a smartwatch, a vibrating metronome. It's got a tuner in it as well and a decibel meter, and it also has a couple of other features too, like uh, smartphone notifications, uh, like it'll show you when you get notifications that pop up on your smartphone, it'll show up a little blip on the uh, digital display on here as well. So it's not like, it's not as full featured as you might see in an Apple Watch. Um, it's a little more, it's a little stripped down from that, a little closer to what you might see in like a, a small, um, like black and white display on a Fitbit or something like that, or one of the older ones. So it doesn't have like the full app screen that you would see on an Apple Watch or a Samsung Gear or something like that. But I actually kind of liked that because it's it's stripped down. It's got a specific purpose. Um, it there's not a you know a thousand apps that you would install on it or anything like that. It's pretty stripped down, and it's and it's uh, in that scenario. I thought it made it a better watch. So uh, the battery life is fantastic. I will tell you that. Uh, I know with an Apple Watch, I had to charge it every day and a half, almost two days. And the that was a Apple Watch Series 3. The Fitbit that I used to have was, a I think, a HR Charge 2. And I had to charge that maybe every four or five days. Uh, this... Uh, Soundbrenner Core, I had to charge probably every four days approximately, so the battery life was really good on it, which I really liked. And yeah, so let's uh, just have a really quick peek at uh, everything that you get with the Soundbrenner. So you get the watch, obviously, which is here. Um, it's, a, it's a good, sturdy strap. I really like the way the strap felt. Uh, it's, I mean, it's plastic, silicone, but uh, it is good. It, it's a good strap, and it felt comfortable, and it was easily customizable. These uh, holes uh, make it very easy to customize it for your particular wrist size. Um, not a whole lot of buttons on it. There's the magnetic uh, side here, which is for the uh, tuning magnet that you would stick on the back of your guitar or instrument, whichever you were going to tune. Okay, so that's what that is for. And then uh, also out of the box, you've got the earplugs. Okay, so the earplugs that come with. Uh, what else? You get the USB charger and you also get the straps uh, that come with it. And these straps are body straps. Okay, so you can basically mount the watch off of, you just give it a twist and it pulls off magnetically, and then it sticks onto this body strap. And you could put this around your arm, uh, wrap it around your thigh, wrap it around your chest, whatever have you. It comes with an expansion strap as well if you wanted to put it all the way around your chest, for example. Uh, so this is all that you get in it, uh, which is good. You get a lot of stuff. And you know, for the, the $270 price tag, 
uh, for it, you would expect those things. Um, first off, the vibration on the metronome is very, very strong. So, <laughs> I mean, that that's good, right? Because when you're playing, let's say you're using this as a drummer, you're using all your limbs. They're vibrating all over the place because you're you're hitting the drums, right? Lots of extra features. You know, the tuning magnet is really strong. This thing is very, very strong. So I didn't even have to stick it to the back of my guitar. I just would like put it on the back of my one of the tuning pegs and put the watch on it and it worked really well. Um, one thing I did notice about the tuner is I've got a seven string guitar that I've got uh, tuned to F sharp. Uh, the low string is F sharp, so it's it's quite low. Um, it did have a lot of trouble trying to tune those low strings, like the F sharp and the low B. But once I got up to like an E and an A, no problem whatsoever. Um, yeah, so that was the only thing. Low tunings, I didn't try it on my bass guitar. I wasn't sure how it would do that because it was a five string. Four string, I'm sure, would have no problem. Um, what else? Uh, very easy to learn how to use uh, the apps that are in it. I mean, it's it. You got two buttons on the side, and then this this ring here. So I mean, pretty easy. You just keep hitting this thing and twist, and it cycles you through all of the settings on here. You can also use the settings when it's connected to the metronome app on your phone. You can. Uh, adjust the settings on there as well. So really easy to use. Uh, I mean, two buttons, you would think there's not a whole lot to have to learn. So that was good. Uh, the built-in apps worked really well as uh, also. The dB uh, meter, very easy. The timer, stopwatch, the tuner, all that stuff, super easy to use. So that was cool. The uh, LEDs around the ring here, uh, When you if you have the app set to turn on the LEDs with the metronome, uh, they light up really bright. Uh, so that was really good. They lit up very well, very easy to see. If you're playing in a really dark club or something and you need to be able to see the time as well as feel it, uh, just to help you kind of sync your senses, um, very easily seen. So no problem there. Uh, the watch face itself also, really easy to read. Uh, as you can see here, uh, you know, it's it, it's there's not a whole lot going on here. You just have a, a little strip on the top and a strip on the bottom. Those are your notification areas. Uh, the middle is nothing other than just you being able to tap on it to turn the metronome on or off or maybe tap your tempo. Uh, that's about it. So, again, super easy to read. Um, the strap, like I mentioned earlier, fits really well because of the uh, small sizing of holes here on the strap. So pretty much should fit anybody without any difficulty there. So now for the cons. Um, these are things that I found in my use that were, I don't know, a little troublesome. Uh, I wasn't I, Things I had an issue with, so I'll just let you know about them. Um, the sync with my iPhone was pretty fragile. So if I took my phone, or if I left my phone in a room and I went into the next room, uh, the watch would drop connection with it. So it was pretty, you know, didn't seem like I was that far away and it would all of a sudden not be connected anymore. And then when I would come back in the room, it would not reconnect. So that was, you know, not great. Um, I wasn't very happy with that. I figured if once I came back into Bluetooth range, it would just reconnect again all by itself, like my headphones do or my, you know, Bluetooth earbuds do. But no, it didn't do that. Uh, so, you know, I'm not a big fan of that. You have to open up your Bluetooth settings, reconnect it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. The uh, syncing with the DAW. Now, that's a feature that I was really interested in getting using because you could, when you're recording, let's say, by yourself and you don't want to have to keep clicking with your mouse to turn the metronome on and off, um, having just being able to hit stop and play and leaving the metronome on in, in the app but with the sound the metronome sound off and syncing with your pulse uh or your core sorry i thought was an awesome feature kudos to soundbrenner they give you lots of tools and instructions on how to connect the core 
or pulse, whichever one you have, to your DAW, and it worked. Their instructions are very thorough, so good on them for that. I'm using Studio One as my main DAW, so I wanted to connect it there. I did get it connected and I did get it working, but I did find it was glitchy. Um, there were times where I would hit the metronome and just your standard like 120 beats a minute, it would uh, miss a beat here and there or it would completely drop out. Or when I hit play, I could hear the metronome ticking on in my speakers or my headphones and then the, the core on my wrist would only vibrate some of the time it wouldn't be a complete sync and then even sometimes the beat per minute was like timed in half so if I had 4-4 timing 120 beats a minute in my DAW I would maybe get one one vibration every two counts on the core so that was not very cool <laughs> so um and I don't know how it worked out. It just eventually kind of just worked itself out to the point where it works almost all the time now. Not 100% of the time, but like 95% of the time it syncs up really good. So I don't know if it was just wireless interference because it you don't actually sync the watch to your DAW or your computer. You sync the DAW to your MIDI connection on the computer which then syncs to the MIDI on your phone through the Soundbrenner app, which is also connected directly to the core. So there's a lot of things going on there, a lot of redirection and, and, and syncing happening. Again, when it worked, it worked great. When it didn't work, it was awful. So uh, not 100% reliable there. Other DAWs, I don't know. This is my findings with Studio One. Um, Overall, the build quality is, it it seems okay. Like, I, I understand it's polycarbonate, but it just feels light and cheap. It feels like if I accidentally hit this with a drumstick, I would split it wide open. Uh, probably not the case because it's polycarbonate. I get it, but it just feels a little delicate, um, especially for, like, a touring musician where things get bumped around. You're lugging gear. You're setting things up. You're doing a whole bunch of stuff during the show, jumping around, you know, sticks flying, whatever. Uh, you might go through a few of these. I don't know for sure, but it just feels light and not sturdy. Um, the ring, this is how you navigate through the apps, this top ring right here. Uh, it's completely smooth. And when your fingers are dry and you try to turn this, your fingers slip on it very easily. Um, what I would have liked to have seen is if there was some kind of just little bumps around the ring so that when you grab it with your fingertips to twist it, your fingers don't slip so easily on it. I thought that was a major oversight with this thing, with the design of it, is your fingers just slip on it. Like right now, it's only turning half of the turns with my fingers. So I don't know if you have to like lick your fingers or they're expecting you to be sweating when you're using this and then you're okay. But I found that to be kind of a bummer actually that uh, this ring here is so easily slipped between your fingers. So hopefully if they come out with a version two of this, they put some notches on the ring so that when you grip it, uh, it and even if it was like, maybe 24 notches, like one for every hour and another for every half hour type of thing. So it looks like kind of the old Iron Man watches or something. Anyway, that's my finding. Again, this is just to help you make an informed decision if you're deciding whether or not to get the Soundbrenner Core. Hopefully this works for you. <laughs> um, and then, of course, uh, the ring doesn't uh, block out dust very well. I did find, I wore this outside when I was doing some yard work and it wasn't overly dusty or anything, but when I started turning the ring, say after that, after I came out in from outside, I could definitely hear and feel some dust in there. And, you know, just looking at it, like it kind of, you could easily see how if you push on the ring, you could easily see how dust would be able to get in there. Like it right on right underneath that ring there. Overall, I think the Soundbrenner Core is a 
is a great idea, and I understand how it won awards at CES and, and NAM and things like that. I get it. The, the features on it, I love the features. Love it. It's a great idea, especially for musicians. Um, did those features deliver? Not quite. Um, it feels, like I said, it feels cheap. It, it doesn't, the, the weather resistance uh, rating, I think, is maybe a little rich for it. Definitely needing of some improvement there. And the ring, uh, you know, it just slips all over the place. So it, it doesn't feel like you have control over it. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, if they come out with a second version of this, they'll fix those things. The strap is really good. Uh, yeah, other than that, I wish there was some color options because the, 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 here's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I started off with the good, went into the bad, now here's the ugly, the look of the device. It's ugly. The lines on the side here going all the way around, like it looks like one of those medical alert alarms that, that you would wear on your wrist so that if you fell down, it would send an alarm to your, to your local alarm company, letting them know you fell. That's what this feels like. It feels like, it feels like a cheap plastic medical alert watch. I, I really appreciate the idea behind it, the, the design for musicians. And the pairing with the core to the metronome app is fantastic. Absolutely. Can I live without the core and just use the metronome app on my phone? Yeah, probably. I probably could. Um, could Soundbrenner enable the vibration in the metronome app for my phone to vibrate? If I just had my phone in my pocket and turned up the vibration, is there a way that I could turn up the vibration maybe on my phone and just use the app? Yeah, there should be. I, I would think that would be a great feature. Um, do I think that this watch is worth $300? Because that's really what it comes to after taxes wherever you are. No, I don't think it's worth $300 in the end. I would maybe $200 maybe? 175 it's kind of pushing it uh with the current state the they have the core steel which comes with an extra couple of extra goodies uh looks a little nicer still has the same it's basically the same thing though just with a nicer strap and a couple of extras if this helps you in any way, if you found this to be valuable information, uh, let me know which part of it helped you out in the comment section. And if you wouldn't mind clicking the like button, that helps me out on YouTube. And subscribe as well if you want to uh, see more videos related to musical things, uh, particularly for the home studio recording musician. Uh, we do mobile stuff. We do home recording stuff. Hopefully some of that stuff works its way into your viewing. So thanks for being here. Keep making music.